In June, retired Maryland State Trooper Frank Esposito announced his run for a state senate in District 35. District 35 includes northeastern Harford County and western Cecil County. In November, Frank will face Libertarian Chris Randers Pearson and Republican um, Jason Gallion. Jason Gallion, thank you. Um, who was the successor to late Senator Wayne Norman when he passed away in March. Frank, thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure and honor. Tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I'm a United States Marine, first and foremost, in 1981 and joined the Marine Corps. Then uh, after the Marine Corps, I was stationed in uh, Washington, D.C. under Ronald Reagan. And I was so impressed with the Maryland State Police when I was traveling back and forth to New Jersey. I applied for the Maryland State Police uh, and was fortunate enough to get the job. Uh, I was there for 25 years. And most of my career was here in uh, Cecil County and Harford County. And then I retired. I uh, waited 45 days and uh, was a glutton for punishment and joined the Maryland Transportation Authority <laughs> Police for another 10 years. And I've been there uh, since 10 years ago, 2008. So 35 years in law enforcement with my military. I uh, have 38 credible service uh, years with the state of Maryland. And why have you decided to run for state senate? Well, I want to run for state senate because I have a uh, particular idea that I want to um, try to propose uh, to the General Assembly and I have a platform that when I went around to talk to the people of Cecil and Harford County, they gave me some great ideas mm -hmm. and uh, what they want to see in the legislatures. So I'm trying to get in there. I'm very enthusiastic about our platform and I have a lot of great new ideas, fresh ideas, fresh leadership, and we're gonna try to get down there and uh, serve the people of Cecil and Harford County. Okay, so if elected, tell us about some of those priorities. Okay, well, some of the priorities, my first and foremost priority is uh, school security. Mm -hmm. uh, that's first on the, uh, uh, number one on the platform, is I want to have every single school in the state of Maryland armed with a school resource officer, including private schools. And I want to create new jobs for that. I want to create a separate force uh, in the state, under the state police, and this is a, just a proposal. Mm -hmm. So we're going to create new jobs. Um, we want the uh, individuals that are involved with this trained, um, uh, with the Maryland Police Training Commission, and that will release uh, the sheriff's deputies from that uh, job okay. if they so desire, or they can supplement it. And it will create jobs, and we will um, uh, it'll be cheaper uh, and be more efficient, I believe, in my estimation. Secondly, I want to attack the opioid problem. I was a me member of the Cecil County Drug Task Force, Harford County Drug Task Force, DEA Task Force. I worked in Baltimore, Baltimore City. Did a lot of undercover work, uh, six years undercover. Mm -hmm. I was very successful in getting drugs off the street. Um, I want to attack it in a comprehensive manner. I think I have a great plan for that. Uh, third uh, on, on the uh, platform is our Second Amendment right. I want to resurrect uh, um, our Senate Bill 99, which is Senator Norman's uh, bill. Right. And uh, we want to, uh, that's a carry and conceal uh, mm -hmm. bill. I believe our Second Amendment right has been trampled on uh, personally. And I want to resurrect that bill in his honor and in his name. And I think that uh, a lot of people uh, want that and uh, deserve that. I have other things too as far as the property taxes are concerned. If you're 65 years or older and you live in your primary residence, you've been here for at least 10 years, you're up to date on your taxes, mm -hmm. I think you deserve a 50% uh, property tax reduction. I mean, you never owned your property and I've uh, right. been paying your taxes and uh, our seniors get limited income. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we, they need a, a, a property tax reduction. I right. also want a lot of other funding for, um, for uh, uh, drug prevention, drug education in our school system. and. Um, for uh, mental rehabilitation for our, our veterans. And I uh, also have a, a nice program I'd like to uh, implement and propose uh, for our veterans if they're in the um, GI Bill, if they serve if they're in the GI Bill. And um, we like to match that $35,000 that they get for, for higher education. Something that you hear about a lot is um, how our, our local representatives in Annapolis um, want to bring more funds back to Cecil County. Yes. How, how will you do that? Well, you gotta go down there and fight. There's a lot of money that you know, gets shuffled around down there. And, then, and if you go down there and look, there's a lot of people that do get funding. Uh, and I wanna make sure that, um, that Cecil and Harford County gets their fair share. You just gotta go down there you know, and fight, make some friends, uh, see what's available, and uh, put a bid in and fight the death for it. And I'm the man for the job. You're an independent. How? Will, how, where do you fall between the party lines and how will you get um, undecided voters to choose you? 
Well, I'm a conservative independent. I'm a fisc um, fiscally responsible. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the people actually looking for some kind of different type of a leadership. Um, it's time that we put people over party and people over politics. I think if I go down there uh, in the General Assembly and I can bring both parties together and uh, got to be able to negotiate, got to be able to make friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I'm not a threat to either party. Uh, I want to bring both parties together, uh, find common ground for the common good, and that's how I would conduct myself. That's it. Do, do you have anything else to add? Well, I just wanted to, just wanted to say that uh, Cecil Ken deserves a Cecil County Center who lives here. We deserve a senator for Cecil County that lives here and works here. I've been here for 35 years. I love Cecil County. It's my home. And if Cecil County comes out and votes heavily, I think we can make a heck of a run. I love Harford County. I worked in Harford County also. My son's there with, his, uh, with my three grandchildren, his wife, and have my extended family there. I also love Harford County. I've, mm -hmm. I've worked many years there. And I think if I'm, if I'm elected, if you give me the opportunity, I'll make the best of it. You'll be very proud. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.